Well, hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday. It's another Frilici Friday. Oh my goodness, my I sound like a frog. Sorry, I this cold started earlier this week and I just can't. My kids are like, Mom, you sound ridiculous. And I, you know, that was pretty bad. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's like froggy, froggy Amy today. So sorry about that. Anyway, I'm feeling good. Hey, Roseanne, how are you doing? I'm glad you can join us. Um, yeah, I'm just glad to be here on a beautiful fall Friday in October. Oh my gosh, I did my first leaf raking round. Hey, Susie, how are you? I'm glad you're coming to Bingo. Thank you for stopping by um, and dropping off payment. That was awesome. I'm glad to have you and Sheila come join us for Bingo. Um, so yeah, let's see. Oh yes, I did my first round of raking yesterday. Hey, Rosa and um, my son... But it, he he came in and he was like, Mom, will you buy me this little iPad? I don't know what uh, what are they the earbud things, whatever those are called. Anyway, he wanted a little case for him, and I was like, Okay, I'm bribing you. I'll buy you this little case, but um, we're gonna need to rake at least two more times. So you are out there with me. So <laughs> I was like, Advance bribe. I'm like, I don't want any complaining, moaning, any of it. You will be out there when I ask you to come help me, and it will be lovely. And in return, he gets. He got Cookie Monster. It's like a little teeny tiny case that you put the earbud things in and it looks like Cookie Monster. It was really cute too, so anyway. So yeah, so I'm just like chattering a little bit while people are hopping on. Hope that everybody's good, good, had a good week and have a good weekend, right? So um, yeah, and I wanna say welcome. I had been running um, a Facebook Live ad as a, like a video ad so i've got a bunch of new people that have signed up for my email list and hopefully you're hopping on and joining us for facebook live so i want to say welcome to anybody that's new um or if you're just finding us however you're finding us welcome to facebook live so <laughs> just watching on your way home that's funny perfect hey that works yeah um okay so let's see oh the one thing i have to tell you guys so next weekend is uh, the weekend retreat in lansing and oh my gosh i'm already like getting all excited about all the projects that i want to work on in between um you know other things that we need to do and um so anyway i need to be down there friday afternoon well not even afternoon earlier um to help set everything up. So I won't be doing Facebook Live next Friday. So I just want everybody to know that. I've got to get everything packed up and down there and set up um, so that we're all ready to go Friday afternoon for when people arrive for the weekend retreat. So no Facebook Live on the 1st, that is November 1st. <coughs> I've got my peppermint handy if I need it. I'm totally afraid that's gonna happen. Got my water, so we'll see. Um, yeah, okay, so no Facebook Live this Friday, or next Friday, the 1st, and then I'll be back for Facebook Live on November 8th, okay? So with that being said, we've got like some fun stuff happening on November 1st, like the paper trimmer. Sandra, when you're watching, um, I wanted to let everybody, Sandra included, because she was asking, um, the paper trimmer. I'm going to use this again today, but the um, our brand new paper trimmer, it's $25. I will include the item code because I don't... It's not printed on here anywhere, I don't believe. Um, they have them on our stamps and dies, but not on this one. So anyway, with that, we've got one cutting blade and one scoring blade. And let me check my notes. So beginning November 1st, customers will be able to order the new paper trimmer. Now the one thing, they must have sold more replacement cutting blades than they anticipated because those are not going to be available until January of 2020. And I'm kind of hoping, you know, a lot of times they'll do this where they'll say like a not until January 2020 and maybe they'll get a shipment, you know, enough in earlier so that they'll be available earlier. But right now that's what they're saying. The paper trimmer itself with one cutting blade and one scoring blade is available for $25 for customer orders starting next Friday, November 1st, but the replacement cutting blades, and you get four of them in a pack, um, those aren't gonna be available until January 2020. So just keep that in mind, okay? So, but awesome, we've been waiting for that new paper trimmer and I love it. I have um, been using it a ton. So I'm gonna work with that today to kind of show you guys. I mean, it's simple, you know, but it's always good to know how to cut your paper. It's funny, because I think back to when I first started, and it seems so simple, but when you just first start, you're like, okay, I have this piece of cardstock, and now what do I do with it? And in the beginning, I used to just kind of eyeball it and just cut wherever I felt like. And I will tell you, it's so much better, especially if you want to make another one of that card or project, if you have 
precise measurements, you know, like a cardstock base is generally five and a half by eight and a half, and then I score it at four and a quarter inches. And that's really like a good standard. But the other layering pieces that you put on, you want to, you know, have good solid measurements for those too. So if you want to make another one, it's easy to do that. So, <coughs> and I'm going to keep doing this. Sorry. <clears throat> I just, the tickle is not going to go away. So, um, okay, so what else is going on? Let's see. No, oh, I need water. Hold on. <coughs> I'm going to try not to <coughs> cough in everybody's faces, even though you can't catch my cold, right? Mm. Okay, so let's see. We have online bingo. So, Louise, I know you watch maybe later on YouTube, but you prompted me. I did an online bingo so that's like anybody can participate anywhere around the country um i did an online bingo earlier this year and i just kind of didn't feel like i had enough time to schedule one properly during the summer i think it's that trip it kind of throws me um takes that couple of weeks away so anyway um louise actually signed up for the live bingo event that we have here in alma but she lives in new york and i was like oh that's not gonna work so um, basically, I was like, okay, well, Louise, you kind of got my wheels turning. So I decided I'm doing it. Another online bingo night. So basically, I set up a separate like Facebook group for bingo, and we play bingo online. I mail you your bingo boards. I mail you your make and takes because we do make and takes as part of bingo also. You also get a swag bag with a bunch of fun product in it. And you can sit in your PJs at home and play bingo with me online. Um, so it's an awesome event. I will tell you, so I've got one person with Louise is signed up right now. I need at least seven more. So we need eight, at least eight people to make online bingo a go. Um, basically because part of your entry fee is to buy the prizes. And if I don't have enough people, then I can't buy good prizes. And then what fun is that? So, but we're playing bingo for Stampin' Up! product. So it is $49 to play online bingo on Thursday, December 5th. I need RSVP and payment by Monday, November 18th. So I need that a couple weeks in advance so I can get everything ordered for your swag bag and your make and takes and get everything prepped and sent to you so you have it in time for the event on Thursday, December 5th, okay? Um, I think that's all you guys really need to know. I am emailing about that. Hey, awesome, <laughs> Nikki. Yes, online bingo. Hey, yes, did you just pop on? Yes, you're in, awesome, awesome. So I will be emailing out about that. Um, I think it's scheduled for Sunday for the email to go out. So right on there is a link to sign up right through PayPal or if you want me to send me credit card info or check, whatever you wanna do, whatever is best for you guys, um, we can do that. Um, what else? I'll post about it next week on the Facebook group too. The link will be on there. Um, so watch for that, okay? And if you can't wait and you want it sooner, I'll send it to you sooner. Um, I just, that's how I have it scheduled for now. So anyway, but I want everybody to know, yeah, online bingo on Thursday, December 5th. It's at 6.30 Eastern Standard Time. So Michigan, which is in the Eastern Time Zone, 6.30 Eastern Standard Time, okay? So let me know if you guys have any questions. I'd love to get you guys signed up, as many as would like, because we had so much fun last time. I actually kind of combined it. Um, some people wanted to do bingo at the stamp studio, and there weren't too, too many of them, so I combined like kind of a studio bingo with an online bingo, and that was kind of tough for me. Um, so I'm excited to just do like a straight online bingo with everyone participating right online, because I think last time, well, I did. I made videos, and I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do with that um, for the make and takes. So, because uh, that was the hard part, really, was trying to show people at the studio how to do the make and takes, and then, um, you know, if you're at home. But this time, since everybody's just going to be at home, I might do it like I do this Facebook Live, where I flip it down, and I make the card right in front of you guys, so you can make it too, and then we'll come back and play more bingo. So I'm still working out the details on that, but I'll keep you posted, so... Okay, um, so yeah, and then with that being said, the regular bingo, like live bingo here at the Stamp Studio is on Thursday, November 7th, and I need RSVP and payment by next week on Tuesday, October 29th. So if you're interested, I've been posting about that, emailing, if you need the link, let me know. Um, that's $30 for the local event, because unfortunately, a lot of that, well, you get less in a goodie bag at the live event, which maybe I'll change that if people want more stuff in a goodie bag. Um, and then the shipping, which is kind of annoying, but um, I have to cover that cost too. So anyway, um, 
What else? Next Simple Beautiful Car Class is next month, November. Hey, Denise, how are you? Um, no, $49 total, Nikki. It's all, if you want to send through PayPal, through friends and family to me at amy.ferlici at yahoo.com, that's awesome because then I avoid those silly PayPal fees. Um, so yeah, it's just a straight $49. The shipping is already a part of that price, basically. So $49 straight out the door. Um, yeah, that'd be awesome. I forgot. You don't even maybe need a link because you love PayPal too. Um, okay, so back to Simple Beautiful Card Class. Next month, November, which is coming up soon. My light's flickering in my kitchen. That freaked me out. The bulb is going to go out anytime now, I'm sure. Um, so the second Wednesday of the month, which is November 13th from 6 to 8.30, and then Friday afternoon, November 15th from 1 until 3. That's a local event here at the Stamp Studio. We make four awesome cards. We are using holiday catalog product. We'll use annual catalog product. We'll make some fun projects, lots of different fun stuff to play with. So let me know if you'd like to join us for that next month. Um, and then also, actually, today is the last day. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Um, the So Many Stars class to go. So I showed you guys all this. It was a quick turnaround. So if you've been hesitating, don't wait any longer because you can make two of each of these beautiful, that one didn't come in very well, did it? And then that one there too. Two of each of those beautiful So Many Stars cards with the stamp set. It's the So Many Stars stamp set, stamp set, the stitched stars dies, and a bunch of other products is included in it too. I've been posting about that and emailing. If you need the link, let me know. But today is the last day to RSVP for that class, okay? Um, what else? So much good stuff. Should we do a drawing? I think we're ready to do that. I'm looking at my notes trying to make sure. Yeah. Okay. Let's do our first drawing, which is for the Twal Tidings Enamel Dots. I think that's what they're called. Glitter. Twal Tidings Glitter Enamel Dots. So they come in the sparkly real red and the sparkly garden green. You get a whole bunch of them. Um, 160, I think that says, if my eyes are right, which I don't know about that. Uh, anyway, so your name went in the drawing if you shared. Oh, and look, I got a new, <laughs> I was all excited because I love blues. So my pretty navy blue Stampin' Up bag, it's one of those collapsible. If I smush this down, I don't want to smush all the entries in there. But it's one of those collapsible um, bags with a little handle on it too. So just like my paper pumpkin one, but I love the blue. I totally love the blue. So anyway, your name went in here if you shared the video. And thank you so much for sharing. I love your help in um, trying to reach new stampers, basically. And then if you sign up for my email list, your name is in here as well. So let's see who is going to be the winner. We had I had a bunch of new email signups because of that um, Facebook ad that I did. So let's see. It's not always a recognizable name for me because of the people who just signed up. But hopefully you're watching and um, can hear your name drawn too. So okay, here we go. We have Miss Ah Mary Pedal. So it's Mary and then. Uh, Pedal, P-E-D-D-L-E. So congratulations, Mary. You are the winner of the Twal Tidings Enamel Dots. Um, I'm gonna check to see. Sometimes when people sign up for my email list, they give me the address and then I can get these sent right out. If not, Mary, send me your email address. Um, you can post right here on Facebook. You can send me a private message. Um, you can email me at amy, which is A-M-Y, and then a dot or a period. My last name, Ferlici, F is in Frank, R-I-L-L-I-C-I at yahoo.com. And then I will get these sent out to you, Miss Mary. So congratulations, and thank you for signing up for my email list, too. All right, I got to dump those names out. <coughs> Have you guys been able to see? I'm just thinking about this. Um, okay, I have to show you. I wasn't sure if I was going to because this is totally not my project, but this <clears throat> is a beautiful fall. Ooh, look at that silly glare. Try to get in there. I'm just going to have to show you guys like in three parts. So there's the top, there's the middle, and there's the bottom. So this is, look at that glare because the window's right there. Anyway, this is an awesome beautiful like I love you guys know I, I always talk about my blues and greens how much I love those colors so I think that's what totally drew me to this sampler it features <laughs> hey Diana how are you um it features the harvest hello oh gosh let me look that up let me make sure 
Um, it's basically two different bundles. There's a little bit more in there, but let me hold on one sec, because all of a sudden I haven't used this fall stuff in just a, well, I shouldn't say that. The Come Together Suite it uses, because it uses the stamp set, and so the Gather Together stamp set, Right here, we use that stamp set. And then the dies that cut all of those images out. And then, yeah, it is the Harvest Hellos. That sounded funny to me. Uh, but it's also using, all right, here we go. Sorry, my um, mount thing is kind of in the way here. So there we go. And it uses the Harvest Hello stamp set. Hey, Philomena, I'm glad you can join us. And then there's the punch too, the, the pumpkin and apple builder punch that goes with this. So most of the product that's on there. Oh, and the other thing it totally features is that Come Together Designer Series paper too. Um, so I cannot take any credit for this sampler. Another friend of mine, a fellow demonstrator, Sandy Carlson, posted this on a, another Facebook group that I'm on. And I know I shared it with you guys way back when the Harvest Hello stamp set was our product of the week, um, or the bundle actually. But I, so I kept the picture of it. I have like this file folder, you know, on my computer. If I see a cute project, I'll save the picture there of like, oh, it's just things I want to make. And this was the thing that I couldn't stop thinking about. Every time I saw the picture, I was like, oh, I need to make some time to make that. You know how um, work gets in the way? <laughs> so the other last weekend, I was like, all right, forget it. I have so much to do, but I want to make that sampler because I really wanted to have it. I'm like, I might even keep it at home. I don't know. Um, so it's kind of late, I know, um, kind of, but kind of not, right? So you still have time. I can give you um, information as far as sizing. Um, this is actually an 11 by 11 frame. That was, I actually had it like sitting in my craft room for a while. Um, so I use that one. You could use a 12 by 12 and then you would end up seeing, I don't know if you can see the cards or not, the designer series paper, that wood grain. You'd see a little bit more of that around the edge, another inch of it actually. So anyway, it's beautiful and I just, like I said, I couldn't stop thinking about it and I was like, okay, I'm making that thing and I finally did it. So it was fun, super duper fun just to make something cute like that. And then while I'm like on show and tell, so yeah, you guys probably couldn't see those, could you? We have um, Stampin' Up! bags too. Let's see if I turn, go this way, then the handles aren't in the way, right? So check these out. You get a two pack of these and these are for sale. I love, so I have bags that I bought, I don't know how, it feels like like 10 years ago, way back when we had convention instead of on stage and they used to do, now I'm drawing a blank at the name of it. When you went, it was like a whole store of Stampin' Up! stuff. What the heck was that called? I can't remember. Anyway, it was like probably one of the funnest parts about convention, and I wish they would still do it. They don't anymore. Um, but basically, they had a whole bunch of logo merchandise, and I bought a bunch of bags that I used at the grocery store. So basically, all the handles except on one bag, I think are completely broken off or like one part is broken off. Um, I joke with the gals at the grocery store that until the bottom like blows out of those bags, I'm using them. And then Stampin' Up! offered some new bags. So now I can upgrade because those are getting a little, you know, after a while. But anyway, so aren't these so fun? So this is Coastal Cabana, super cute. It's a two pack, so you get that one and then you get this one too. This one is Calypso Coral. So how about that? So fun stripes on this one with a little Stampin' Up. And you can see they're pretty good size. My daughter was like, I don't think they're as big as the other ones, but I think they are. I think they're just, um, cause you can see, you can open them up pretty wide there, right? So I love to use these bags. I hate to get um, a bunch of those plastic bags at the grocery store. So we are really, really good. It took us a while. I keep them in the back of my car. Um, every time I go to the grocery store, either Lily or I think of like, okay, we gotta get the bags. Every once in a while we forget. In the beginning we forgot all the time, but now we're just really um, used to it. So we use these bags instead of getting those silly plastic bags that are gonna smother the world one day, I think. So anyway, do your part and order some cute Stampin' Up! bags and shop with these instead of getting those other icky plastic bags, right? Um, item code, I can't, what I forgot to do is I forgot to write down the price, but if you type in item code, oh, what does that say? 153642, you can order them and then it'll tell you how much they are too. They're, I don't know, they're not too much, but they're really nice and sturdy. And they did put um, a piece of, Kind of chipboard in the bottom of them 
to a pole. Oh, it's not chipboard. It's plastic, actually. I looked at it late one night. So, yeah, they put it, this piece of plastic goes down in the bottom. That's even better. So if something leaks, you can, like, clean it all up. And it, they're a nice um, plastic material, too. So, again, um, you know, if something drips in there or whatever, you can wipe it right off, and that would be fabulous. So order your cute Stampin' Up! bags and shop away. Thank you, $10. Nikki says $10. I love you, Nikki. You are my awesome resource. Thank you. So two bags, 10 bucks. Go shopping then, ladies. Plus, it's so fun. Like, I like, because I advertise my business then as I'm walking around with my little Stampin' Up! bags, right? <laughs> so, okay. Um, so back to... Okay, have you guys been enjoying our product of the week this week? The, maybe I'll show you. We're gonna, so the projects that we're gonna make are going to include that Christmas time is here, right? Sweet, so I'm gonna show you. This is the paper. This all ties in, because I'm gonna show you what we're gonna give away on next Facebook Live too. Sorry, I've got some little parts and pieces here. Let's get rid of those. Okay, so have you guys seen, do I have one of each of them? One, two, three. I think I do, right? Because those are all, huh, hold on. Let's try to make sure I had, okay. So I don't have one of those. She, <laughs> sorry, I should have looked at this sooner. So there's one more, <laughs> probably this one. Or are there only three? Maybe there are only, yeah, there are only three different patterns. Sorry, I'm, I'm like crazy. Okay, so these are the three patterns. We actually get four of each of these sheets of designer series paper in the Christmas time is here. So this beautiful rose, look at that. And it's got some pretty gold accents on it too. And the stamp set is similar. I actually did not order the stamp set or dies, and I'll tell you, I'll tell you why in just a couple minutes. Um, when we do um, the, the stamping that we're gonna do. Um, but I think, I mean, and honestly, you could even cut out those roses yourself. And the stamp is similar, I, I think, to the bigger flower here, this one right here, the stamp that's in the stamp set. So, and then here's the back with the pine cones, very pretty. So three of each of those. And then this one's beautiful too, right? This paper with more of the gold um, accents. People are, lots of people are walking by my house right now. It's kind of weird. There's no run or anything, so I keep looking out the window. And then here's the back side of this one, just a nice, really pretty neutral. I'm gonna call that Mossy Meadow. This is one of my favorite patterns right here. It can go that way, or it can go that way, and it's got the pretty gold accents there. And then these cute swirls, too. So those are the different patterns of paper. In the Christmas time is here, designer series paper. And let me put that over there. <coughs> coordinating with that are the gold glitter enamel dots, which is what we're gonna give away on our next Facebook Live. So not next Friday the 1st, but on November 8th. So if you share the video anytime between now and next Friday, a week from Friday, November 8th, your name goes in the drawing to win these gold glitter enamel dots. And you can see there are a bunch of different sizes. And this sheet, is well there's a full another set of them right so you can see them all here and then that's just covered up a little bit but you can see some teeny teeny tiny babies it looks like one two three four different sizes so you get two rows of each there and two rows of each there right so you get a bunch of these really pretty the gold glitter enamel dots that work beautifully and you're going to see that just a little bit with um, the designer series paper and then the gold shimmer ribbon too so share the video sign up for my email list and your name will go in the drawing on november 8th next facebook live um, to win the gold glitter enamel dots so can you kind of it's a little hard to see the glitteriness but same kind of idea as those other twill tidings. These are just a little bit smaller. They don't come quite as big as those. So, okay, keeping on track here. Check my list, right? Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and do our other drawing now too. So yeah, right? Okay, hold on, I gotta make sure. Uh, um, <clears throat> and I'm gonna get a sip of water too. Hold on one sec. And sniffle. <laughs> Okay, I think we're good. Yep, 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 okay. All right, so if you're new to Facebook Live, I wanna make sure everybody understands when you put an online order in and use the host code that you can find on my blog at Gathering Ink with a K, gatheringinspiration.com, you can always find it there. I'm gonna give it to you in just a few minutes here also. 
But when you shop online, use that host code, you get the projects I demonstrate on that week's Facebook Live. So for example, last Friday, I made these two projects, right? So if you ordered between last Friday and Wednesday of this week, if you spend at least $30 and use that host code, you get your you get both of these cards sent to you, right? If you bumped your order up to $50, you also get a pack of the holiday rhinestones. So that's for sure. You're definitely gonna get both of those things. And then your name goes in the drawing to win. <coughs> Very anticlimactic coughing in front of that, or in the middle of that. The wrapped in plaid, which you can't see the plaid there, but you can there, right? The wrapped in plaid designer series paper. So we are going to do that drawing now. Let me get those names put in there. So, like I said, you get the two cards, you get the free embellishment with at least a $50 order, and somebody is going to win the wrapped in plaid designer series paper. So, we've got our entries from online orders this week in here, and the winner is Miss Jennifer Tilton. Awesome. Okay, congratulations, Jennifer. Um, I will be getting actually. She's local. So, Jen, I will have um, the paper for you down at the stamp studio. So, thank you so much, everyone, for your orders this week. I appreciate that very, very much. Um, okay, let me scoot this out of the way. Oh, my goodness. <coughs> All right, and that, and that, and that. Okay, so you guys want to know what we're going to give away? So, two weeks from today on November 8th, Facebook Live, use the host code. You're going to get the projects I'm going to demonstrate in just a couple minutes. Uh, bump your order up to $50 and you get those rhinestones, right? And then your name goes in the drawing to win. I love the stamp set, the itty bitty Christmas stamp set. Of course, it's all backwards, but I'm going to read so many of these just awesome sentiments for Christmas, holiday, whatever you need. And I'll show you, do you guys remember this card that we made a few weeks ago? That little season's greetings and that label punch works really well on many of the sentiments in here too. This is just a great kind of a go-to if you just need um, a little, like just a little sentiment, even for the inside of your card too. If you do something fun and bold on the outside, you can do something kind of simple, smaller on the inside of your card. So these are the sentiments on the itty bitty Christmas stamp set. We have very merry, believe. This one's fun with the little, it says lots of love at Christmas. You can kind of see, ooh, there we go. Um, and there's a to and a from, you can always use that. No peeking till Christmas, that's a cute one. Oh, blessed Christmas wishes, that's that one right there. Um, have a sugar sprinkled season. Well, I try to do that every year, that's for sure. From our house to yours, celebrate the season, season's greetings, peace and happiness. And thinking of you at Christmas, oh what yum. That's kind of a cute one right there, right? Um, happy holidays, Christmas cheer, joy to the world, happy Christmas, and then there's a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year is that bottom one right there. So awesome, you get 18 different stamps in the Itty Bitty Christmas stamp set. So just a great versatile set to have on hand, um, especially when you do like something fun, like with all the detail in here and you just wanna add a little sentiment to your card, you can do that. So your name will go in the drawing to win that stamp set with your online orders using the host code. The one thing that I forget to mention is if you order over $150, don't use the host code. I will know, you know, I see everybody's orders. I want you to get the host benefits for your order. So if ever you do that, don't use the host code. So if it's under $150, use the host code and then I'll get your everything sent out to you. If it's over $150, I'll still send you everything, but you get the host benefits that start at a $150 order, okay? So that's like $15 in free stuff for your order, okay? So, all right, um, let's see. I think, are we ready? Yeah, okay, we're ready to do some stamping. Are you guys ready? I think so, yeah. Okay, and I, I'll show you, yeah, we'll flip this down. It'll be a little bit easier because I printed out, I wish I had a color printer. I'm gonna have to invest in one of those because I printed out the whole Christmas time is here suite of products you've been seeing. So if you haven't, check out the Facebook group this week because all week long, <coughs> I've been posting beautiful projects, all made by Stampin' Up um, Artisan, or not Artisans, but the Stampin' Up Design team. 
um, they're artists basically. They made a whole bunch of beautiful projects and I've been sharing those all week long along, along with pictures of the stamp set and the dies and the paper and the ribbon. Um, there's even a bracelet too if you get the full like sweet bundle. So I'll, sh let me, yeah, I'll show you guys that um, in just a sec. So we're gonna um, flip the camera. So turn your heads away for a sec and we're gonna flip the camera down and do some stamping and show you guys um, what other good stuff we have. And I'm gonna try, I got distracted there because the other day I did a Facebook Live on my team Facebook page and I accidentally pushed the two buttons on either side of um, my iPhone and I called the police. And then, yeah, I called 911, which was great. And then I get a text from 911 asking if, you know, if everything's okay. And I text them back and say, yeah, I'm fine. I just pushed those buttons together on accident and didn't clear it in time. And they said, okay, that's great, but the officer's already on his way, so he's going to stop. <laughs> so I had to stop my Facebook Live, and I basically started it over because I was too embarrassed and deleted that one. But that was really embarrassing and annoying, honestly, because I was like, I'm fine, I'm fine. I just pushed those two buttons on either side of my iPhone. And then I was saying to the police officer, like, seriously, does this happen a lot? Because it's way, I know I've called, I guess I've canceled in enough time. And that was the first time I hadn't, I didn't cancel it <laughs> in enough time. <clears throat> okay, I should probably stop talking since I have barely a voice left, huh? But that's not going to happen. You know me, ladies. Hmm. Okay, I'm just keep drinking my water. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to show you. And like I said, it's not in color, but the Christmas time is here sweet. Again, it's available. And that was the other thing. I kind of hesitated, like, should I show you guys it this week? I really wanted to do it next week, but I wanted to show you projects too. So with not being able to do a Facebook Live next Friday, I was like, okay, I'm going to show you guys this week. You just get all excited about it, put it on your wish list, and then next Friday you can start ordering. So you can see there's the full suite bundle, which comes with everything. And I'll show you a closer up in a sec, but there's a stamp set, the dies, those glitter enamel dots. There's the little bracelet, some more dies, ribbon, and designer series paper. The full kit and caboodle is $112.50. And you can see there's the item called the 153847. I'm going to get my glasses. <clears throat> Hold on. This way. Because even as I zoom that in, nope, it's nine. Where did it go? <laughs> it's down here. One, five, three, nine, four, seven. That gets everything. And you do get the bundle price on the Christmas rose stamp set and the roses dies. Okay. Or you can just get the bundle, the Christmas rose bundle. That is one, five, three, nine, four, four for sixty-one dollars. And you get the Christmas rose stamp set. And it's a big. Actually, they show both of them, don't they? So you can stamp kind of um separately your rose and all the prettiness around it. Or on this one, you can stamp everything all at once. And then look at the dies. The dies are cool too. So this die right here cuts that rose out. And then you've got the other labels too. And then some other kind of fun lattice and detail work, right? Okay, so here's um, a closer up view of the stamp set too, which like I said, I did not get because I had just ordered another stamp set that I thought worked really well. And I'm gonna show you that in just a couple minutes. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna just try it this way and see what I think. So here we go. You've got Merry Christmas. Hey Kay and Michelle, how are you guys? I'm glad you can join us, right? And then all of, look at all of that beautiful detail. So you can stamp your rose and then all the other things that you can stamp around it in different colors then too, because it's different stamps, right? Um, let's see, and then there's this one over here with all of the detail. That's all one stamp, right? And then you've got a great sentiment. Make, may this Christmas fill your heart with warmth and love, right? Isn't that beautiful? And then, oh, here's the bracelet, which you can't see very well, but it's a charming rose bracelet. The designer series paper that I already showed you, there is a better view, oops, of the dies right there, the roses, dies, and then the ribbon. We're going to use the ribbon the gold shimmer ribbon and the gold glitter enamel dots that you can win when you share Facebook Live um, anytime between now and November 8th, which is our next Facebook Live. 
okay? So beautiful suite of products. Um, you know, if you don't want to buy it all, honestly, I have had a ton of fun with just the paper and the ribbon and um, the gold glitter enamel dots. Because um, that is, you know, that's a big price point to get everything. But if you love it, obviously it's awesome because it all coordinates really well together. But I'm going to show you an alternative. Um, maybe you already have the stamp set too. So, uh, yes, yeah, so we are going to do this card first. No, you know what I'm going to show you? Back it up, sister. I have a couple of other cards. So we made these cards at our Inkspired Stampers meeting last week because I wanted everybody to see that Christmas time is here sweet. So these are two, we made four cards as our make and takes. So these are two cards I'm gonna just show you because we're not, I'm not gonna make these, but they're super simple. This is like a three by four piece of designer series paper from the Christmas time is here and then some gold foil paper. So this would be, if this is three by four, the gold is three and a quarter by four and a quarter. You can see we use some of the gold shimmer ribbon, which is beautiful, right? And then teeny tiny little gold glitter enamel dots and then we die cut the Mary out of the Mary Christmas thinlets and then so these are all backwards right but these are great dies that say Christmas holidays Mary and happy and then two little labels we use this larger label right here to cut out our Christmas stamp that is from the Merry Christmas to All stamp set. So you can see just by, like, like I said, having fun with the paper and the ribbon and the um, gold glitter dots, right? You can find other things that might be in your stash and use those, right? So again, the Merry Christmas to All stamp set and Merry Christmas thinlets, maybe you have those already, work really well with all of that too, right? Okay, so that's one, and then the other one that we made is this one, and I love, I don't think you could see the paper very well when I showed it, but I love this, this pattern, I guess, of the designer series paper. And then we have that big, bold, beautiful, may the beauty of the season fill your heart with joy, and that is also from the Merry Christmas to All stamp set. You can see, so you can see it looks smaller there, but it's actually really good size, isn't it? <laughs> we used a couple of, these are the stitched nested labels dies. So those two right there, I think those are the biggest two we used on those pieces right there. And then some of the fun red curly ribbon. And then some of the gold glitter enamel dots. So you can see, and then this one, this piece measures four inches by five and a quarter. And this is what I was talking about earlier about making like good cuts with like good measurements. So I used to just cut that piece of paper and put it on and maybe it didn't fit very well. So now I know if this is four and a quarter inches along here, if I want to cover this nicely, I cut it at four inches. Hey, Anne, how are you doing? And then along this way, it's five and a half inches. So if I want to graduate them both in about a quarter of an inch. I cut this piece of designer series paper at five and a quarter. So it's four by five and a quarter to make a nice layer that fits perfectly with just a little bit of cardstock peeking out behind it. And yeah, I loved this one too. I think it's the paper and then I love those dyes too. And then the fun red kind of pops there also, right? Okay, so those are two of them that we made at the meeting. Then I had to, because I love, this is one of my favorite patterns of paper. So another fun thing that I like to do for anybody that's in my Inkspired Stampers, my top five in sales for the month, I always send them a fun congratulations card. And so this was the card that I sent everybody. Now I'm drawing a blank. These are the, those dies, the banded. Is it the banded dies? I didn't bring them over. Sorry, I forgot to bring those. So I have them out for something else I'm working on. But you can see the Merry and Bright. Oh, that's from another stamp set in the holiday catalog too. That's one of my new favorites. Maybe I can find that because I really love that stamp set. Hold on. I can do that because I think it's toward, I feel like it was toward the back. Let's see. Oh, okay. Maybe not. Maybe it's not that far back, huh? It is, I know it's kind of toward the back. You know, I'll probably never find it now because I didn't mark it. There it is, the Everything Festive. I love that stamp set too. So you can see there's the Merry and Bright, but you could use that other Wishing You Peace, Love and Laughter in the New Year or From Our Home to Yours. Any of those would be beautiful. And you can see they show how they work really well with those, um, the 
mm, the stitched nested label dies. I wanted to make sure I had those right there. So that's another great stamp set that you could use along with that fun, beautiful banded die. And then here, so can you see that gold shimmer ribbon? I just put a strip and then tacked it around the back of the designer series paper, add a little bow, and then some of those gold glitter enamel dots there too. So beautiful, huh? Right? Okay, so now I'm going to show you the cards we're actually going to make today. But hopefully, like I said, you guys enjoyed all of the products that I showed you all week long in that Christmas time here is sweet and the projects too. It's just gorgeous. And again, starting on November 1st, you can actually order it yourself. So when you order, make sure you use the host code, the NPTCWZUH. When you order at least $30, you're going to get the projects that I'm going to demonstrate right now. And you could also get the holiday rhinestones when you bump your order up to at least $50. <coughs> All right. Talkie, 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 talkie. Here we go. We are stamping, ladies. Okay, so this is our first card. The, and i that's what I was starting to tell you guys about, right? That was the other thing. <laughs> Sorry, get so off track. Was I had just ordered the Peaceful Bows stamp set. And then these are called the Beautiful Bows dies. And I love these. And I, I this was one that I kind of kept looking at in the catalog. And I didn't buy right away. And then I had just ordered it right before this whole um, suite launched. And I was like, you know, I kept looking at it thinking this works really well with this paper. Um, and the framelits do too, right? With the... Um, those, uh, what are those called? Pine cones? <laughs> anyway, with the pine cone paper that we have there too. Where's that pine cone paper? Um, well, you know what? I'm going to show you. Hold on. I'll show you that in a sec because we're going to do that in just a minute. So, but anyway, for this one I used, you can see we've got the Seasons Greetings stamp, which is what I used right there on the card. And then this pretty die, this label. And that's the other thing. I love how they're giving you some detailed pieces. And then we've got two great labels here that you can use all year round, right? So maybe some of these other things are maybe more a little holiday. Although I could see something fun with this summertime too in a different color also. Um, but then they've got the pine cones there. And you can do the detail and or you can just do um, the outline. And then those two label dies there also. Again, these are called the Beautiful Bows dies. And I will include, so for these two cards that we're going to make, I will include, <coughs> excuse me, all of the item codes for everything that we used on this card and the other one I'm going to demonstrate on my blog. I upload that on Friday afternoon. You can find all the details with all of the um measurements and everything too so you can make these yourself or order what you need to make them yourself okay so let's see we're going to grab some grid paper so i don't make a mess of the table okay all right actually you know what before let's cut our cardstock and then okay so let's see i'm going to get my new paper trimmer out right so we need a piece of this is Mary Merlot cardstock. So along the 11 inch side, we're gonna pop this in. We are gonna find five and a half inches. And I'm gonna cut that one right there, right? So we've got two, look at the beautiful cut that paper trimmer makes, right? Now make sure that's your cutting blade. You don't wanna use that one when you go to score it along the eight and a half inch side at, oops. And you can see I had that angled, but with this line all the way down here, it helps me Make sure, I don't even know how I had that angled, but I did. So line that up at four and a quarter, and I go over it a couple times to make our nice crisp fold on our card, okay? <coughs> All right, scooting that out of the way. And then I have everything else already cut for us. So let's see, we'll scoot that baby up there. These things are here. I've got my pretty grid paper. I've been having so much fun with my grid paper, ladies. Okay. Let's get the rest of these things out here and we will make our project. Okay, so we have, this is a piece of cardstock. You know, I was saying make good measurements. This measures four, well here you can see it either, four by five and a quarter inches. It goes right on there. Then we also have a piece of the designer series paper and you can maybe see a little bit better all the pretty gold on there. And then, I don't know why, I just love that. I guess because it's so simple. Um, okay, so we're going to adhere this on now 
two. And this is why I used an extra piece of Mary Merlot cardstock because I wanted, that's not right, is it? This one's gonna go here. Well, what the heck, what did I do? That's not the right, I must've just brought an extra piece. <coughs> okay, so I do have to, let me make sure on this. <coughs> this should be four inches wide. I think it's by three. Let's do a quick measurement. Yep. Hmm. Might even be. <coughs> uh oh. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. <coughs> okay, I'm grabbing my mint. Hold on just a sec. <coughs> Okay, so with our adhesive on this piece of cardstock, <coughs> we have to cut it down. <laughs> so I'm going to do it underneath here. So that one's okay there. I think it's just a little bit wide. Okay, so we're going to line that up. Yeah. Hmm. It was almost like, you know what? <coughs> Sorry, guys. <coughs> I knew that was going to happen. So we want it the same width. A lot of times I graduated in a quarter of an inch, and that's what I thought I needed to do, but we're fine. Okay, so here we go. <coughs> <coughs> okay. <coughs> I keep thinking, like, one more good cough is going to get rid of it. So we're going to hope. Okay, so we are going to just add a little strip here of the gold glitter glimmer. What is it called? Gold shimmer ribbon, it's called. Very, very pretty. And it's only, does it tell me? Yeah, a quarter of an inch wide. So it's not super wide. Makes it a little bit easier to work with, I think. Okay, so here we go. We're going to put that right there. Hmm, okay. I'm trying not to talk as much so I <laughs> save my voice, but it's just so quiet. I don't know if I can do it. Okay. All right, and we can just add this right on to our card. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. And like I was starting to say, I, this ribbon, you, there's no way to put around a card like this um, unless you did it tall and wrapped it all the way around the card. But this is kind of a little cheater way. So just add an extra piece. You can put your designer series paper on the piece and then put your ribbon right on there too. Okay, so we've got that. Now we need to do some stamping and die cutting. So let's do that. So... We have our Seasons Greeting stamp set with our Mary Merlot ink. <laughs> hey, Zara, how are you? Oh my gosh, I'm like a coughing, sniffling mess. And Michelle, you're very sweet. <laughs> I know, I'm sad I'm not well too. <laughs> it's really not that bad. It just seems to be super annoying on the Facebook Live right now, unfortunately. So hopefully that moment has passed though. Okay, so let's move this stuff out of the way. So we've got our die cutting machine. <laughs> right here and so we're going to put that piece down right there i'm going to find my dies that i thought i couldn't find for a sec right and we are going to use so this pretty little label we're going to put on that one and then i have some mossy meadow cardstock that we're going to cut our sprigs i'm going to call them we're going to use this one right here we're going to pop that on there okay so Let's see, we're gonna line this up. This one needs to be lined up so that it looks good, right? So we wanna do that. And then it's gonna move around on me, of course. That magnetic field, right? And then this one is fine. We can put that one right there. Okay, so here we go. I have that magnetic platform and then one clear plate underneath. My paper, my die pointing down, the edges pointing down. Actually, we're gonna come back through here. 
<coughs> excuse me, and then one more clear pad on top. Okay, here we go. So this one we can pop right out of there and it cuts those little holes right out of there too. Oops, I thought I brought my paper piercing tool over, but we're good, okay. So there's that one there. <coughs> Excuse me. And then this one, we are going to use our, <clears throat> what's that called? The dye brush. We're going to use our dye brush to get that out of there. Oops. Actually, I want that back on there. We're going to have to use that again in a few minutes on our other card. Okay. So we're going to just grab this little baby. Start running this all over here to hopefully get it released enough. There and then pops right out, okay? There we go. Okay, so I think, so back to, this is what we're making, right? So I, I'm gonna have that right in front of me and we can finish things up. So actually, when you forget your paper piercing tool, you can use your paper snips, like a paper piercing tool, just be careful not to hurt yourself because those things are sharp, right? Okay, let's get all those little bits out of the way. Okay, so we are going to just add, I just kind of ran some adhesive and we're gonna put that maybe right about there, okay? Now I want some dimensionals on the back of my season's greetings. And you will see I uh, did not tie my, I just made a bow and then tacked it right on there, kind of like I tied it through. I didn't really tie it through the hole. You could if you wanted to, but I didn't know if I could handle stringing that through there. <laughs> so we just made a bow and tacked it on there, and no one knows the difference, right, unless I told you, okay? So we're just going to use some white baker's twine and make a little bow and then tack it on there with a the glue dot. Okay. So that is there. And like I said, the item codes for everything that we are using, dimensions, all of that are gonna be on my blog later on this afternoon once I get everything uploaded there, okay? All right, we'll grab our glue dot. We're gonna just put that right about there. And, oh, I was like, oh, we're done. But no, we're not quite done, are we? We have, and I've used, you can see I've used a bunch of these, the gold glitter enamel dots. So you can see they come in super small. I've got a few of the medium. That's a little bit larger, and that's extra large. Yeah, so we have small, medium, large, and extra large dots. And we are going to use, looks like I used maybe a medium one there. And let's see medium one there and we're going to use one of the super little small ones that are going to be feisty because they're tiny okay <laughs> oh where'd the other one go hmm. well i don't know what i did with it okay so we're going to grab another one <laughs> it's probably like stuck on me somewhere i didn't even see what happened to it that's funny <coughs> Okay, yuck. Sorry. Hope I'm not grossing you guys out. <laughs> I feel like I'm grossing myself out a little bit right now. So, okay, so this is the first card. Isn't that so pretty? And again, I think that that stamp set, the Peaceful Bow stamp set, and then whatever those bow dies are called, um, work really well, right? With that imagery right there, I think it works really nicely with that um, designer series paper so okay so that's one of the cards and like i said you can't order it yet november 1st so next friday you can order um the christmas time is here you can order the peaceful bows stamp set you can get that right now you could maybe get some now and then some later if you like to spread things out a little bit so okay so that's one of our projects all right i have to just tidy up for a sec here ladies okay there, okay, so one done and one to go. Okay, so the other one we have is this one right here. So isn't that beautiful too? This is what I was starting to show you guys was, oh shoot, I gotta get another sip of water. <coughs> hmm. 
Okay, hold on. Enjoy that card for a sec. I'm going to get a, another piece of mint because I'm afraid I'm going to have a problem. I don't want to. Okay. So that's going to help me get through the rest of the video. <laughs> yes, hang in there. I know. <laughs> you guys too, all right? Sorry about this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so here, more design series paper. We have the beautiful um, kind of imagery with the red berries and the pine cones. And I loved how that worked together. And then another one of those labels that's great for Christmas or any time of the year, right? Along with some more of that gold glimmer, shimmer ribbon, whatever it's called, right? Okay, so this time we are going to start. Get everything over here, right? So I'm using my paper trimmer again. We are going to cut, this time we have a piece of, this is Poppy Parade cardstock, okay? We are going to cut it again at five and a half inches. You guys can see that, right? Yep, we're still in view. Along our 11 inch side, right? And then pop that up, find four and a quarter inches. Make sure it's lined up. You can see the little line. Okay, make sure it's lined up. That way you know you have it flush against there too. Do not cut though, Amy. Okay, we're gonna use the lighter scoring. The um, scoring one is a little bit lighter gray. Okay, and there we go. Okay, so we got that all good to go. Let's do our stamping, because then we'll have that. And do our die cutting and get it all set up for us. Okay, so I have, let's see. Poppy Parade ink we are going to use for our sentiment. This one's beautiful too. It says, may the spirit of peace gently fill your heart and home in this most wonderful time of year. Love that sentiment. Okay, so with Poppy Parade ink, we are going to stamp this right on there. Okay. It's almost like I have, hmm. All right, we're doing that again. It's almost like there's a little, I should have maybe cleaned that off. <laughs> we'll see. There, good, it's not there. Oh, I love that. I love the cursive too, right? The pretty cursive and then that more blocky piece. Beautiful. Then with soft suede ink, we are going to stamp our pine cones. Oh, UPS is here. So the puppy may bark, I don't know. He's kind of funny, he doesn't, we'll see. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, we're gonna just trim off this piece because we don't need that, okay? Now I'm gonna grab... <laughs> oh, good, all right. It's a different guy today. He said, hello, UPS, and Storm walked over. Okay, he's like, oh, someone's here to see me. Where are they, right? <laughs> That's funny. Sorry, bud, he's gone already. Hopefully I gave myself enough room. We might have to run this separately because I'm looking at this thinking mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh there he's going now storm he's leaving buddy all right we're gonna do these first get these out of our way you scared him away big guy okay so we're gonna put those little guys right there pop this one on here <laughs> I'm glad you like the card too Nikki thank you very much Okay, so hopefully I gave myself enough room. I'm looking at this thinking, are we going to get it? Are we going to get it done or not, ladies? Yeah, I think. You know what? Let's see. We might just have to make it up a little bit higher. I should have stamped those down a little bit. Oh, good Lord. Okay, you know what we're going to do? Sorry, I'm being futzy today. We're going to stamp that again. I'm going to try to stamp it right on here. <laughs> Should I? All right. Nope, I'm not going to because I'm freaking myself out. There. This one is going to work now. The other one had like a little fuzz or something on it, and that was bugging me. So, okay, now we're ready to go. Good thing I brought that long piece of cardstock, huh? Okay, let's get that lined up. Looks good there. All right. We're cutting this baby. I love this um, label though too. Okay. 
can see lots of good uses for this because I love the little, those little things that we now need to poke out, right? There we go. You can poke those little babies out there. Okay, perfect, huh? Isn't that awesome? Love that little detail on there. Okay, scoot this guy out of the way. Oops, excuse me. And we can put this card together, I believe. <coughs> All right, so we have a piece of Whisper White cardstock. This one measures five and a quarter by four inches. And then we have two pieces of our designer series paper. Same size, right? You can see that one. We used that one on the other card. Now we're using the back side. And then there's that really pretty big rose, right? And then the pine cone paper. So this, both of these measure, this is gonna be five and one eighth by two inches. Both of those are, okay? So we can add our adhesive on these guys right here. <clears throat> All right, so let's see, we can put this one. Yep, I was trying to make sure I had it going the right way. So we want just a little bit of white to peek out from around the edges. This one I'm only like an eighth of an inch, so just a little bit of white pops out. And then we'll put this one up at the top, okay? And where's my ribbon? Right here. Okay, so again, we are gonna do, this is like a cheater bow. We just put a little strip like I did on the last one. I think this is easier. And then separately, we're gonna come back and make a bow and just tack it on there. So flip that over. I use a good amount of adhesive because I don't want this little baby to come off, come apart. And I do always flip this over to make sure I'm not going at an angle. It's just a thing that I have to do. Okay, there, now we can put this one on our card base, which is right here, okay? We already had our card scored, everything's all ready to go. Ooh, I love that bright red too, that poppy parade. Just makes it pop, right? Okay, now this one I actually didn't put dimensionals on because I popped up my, um, uh, what are those called? Pine cones instead. Okay, so we're going to put that. Oops, and then I feel like it went at a little bit of an angle. Maybe not. Hey, Tiffany, how are you doing? And Philomena, thank you for the share. I appreciate that. Oh, like I said, I love to reach new stampers, share with others, right? The fun that we have here. Okay, so I put some dimensionals on the back of that pine cone, and then we're going to add this little baby, maybe right about there, right? And then one more little detail. We're gonna make a bow out of our gold shimmer ribbon, okay? And we'll just pop this on with a dimensional as well. Okay, and it gets all curled. Oh, I just can't, mm, gotta fix that before I, <laughs> come on, ribbon, there we go, all right. And then we can kind of pull it. I like to kind of hold my finger on the knot when I can because it comes apart no matter what but as I'm kind of twisting and pulling on it, but I think that helps a little bit. So we're just going to trim that down a little bit and find our glue dots that are, oh, I put those away, put them back. <laughs> I thought, oh, where are they? But they're right there. So these glue dots, right, are awesome. You just put your ribbon right on there, kind of peel off, make sure you've got the glue dot behind it. And then we can just pop that right on there. And we've got our beautiful, may the spirit of peace gently fill your heart and home in this most wonderful time of year. So how about that? So beautiful paper, right? Like I said, I didn't even get the stamp set. You certainly can get that and have lots and lots of fun. And the sentiments fit in these, uh, well, not these dies, but the dies that they come with, right? Perfectly. Or you can use the Peaceful Bows stamp set and the dies <laughs> that I have left on here. All the other ones are scattered all over the place. These are the ones we did not use, right? The other ones are all over in crafter math world right now, as we say these days, right? Okay, so don't forget, ladies, and I will, I will include item codes for everything, so if you wanna order anything, you can do that. The Christmas time is here, not till next Friday, November 1st, along with the paper trimmer, 
right? You can order those cute Stampin' Up! bags anytime you want. You can order other things that you might need to make these cards. Right now, make sure you use that host code, the NPTCWZUH. You will get one of each of these cards sent to you when you put your online order in anytime between now and next Wednesday, which would be whatever the, that first Wednesday in November is. If it's the first, oh my gosh. So let's see. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, two, three, four, five, six, maybe the sixth. Maybe it's November 6th. Anytime between now and November 6th, order, use the host code. You get these two cards. Your name goes in the drawing to win the itty bitty Christmas stamp set. And if you bump your order up to $50, you get the holiday rhinestones too, which I still cannot stop playing with, ladies. Okay. So thank you guys so much. I hope you have a great weekend and a great week next week. And I will see you back here live on Friday, November 8th. So bye, everybody. Thanks so much. And yes, I will be feeling better very soon, Philomena. I appreciate that. Thank you. I just sound awful on this video. It's really not that bad. <laughs> All right. Take care, guys. Bye, everybody. Thanks for joining us.